Good morning everyone. This weekend was certainly eventful. On Saturday we didn't do much but at 2 o'clock we had big duties which involved cleaning out the buckets and then cleaning the boat which was eventful. It was definitely a new experience. Um, and then at evening we had a party and we went to Dada's which is a local bar slash club here in Andavadoc which was certainly interesting. And then Sunday we just spent the whole day doing nothing. We chilled out, we slept, we read our books, we went for a swim. Um, so nothing too exciting happening, but much needed rest. Today we are starting all over again, so it's diving every day. Today's dive was really, really good. Uh, it was a point out dive, so we swam around and our dive master Patty would point out um, a coral and he would tell us what type of coral it was um, and we'd go around and point out lots of different ones. At the beginning it was like really like, oh, what's that one? I can't remember what the other one was. And like halfway through you'd be like, oh wait, what was the soft coral again? Or what was the massive coral and stuff like that. But towards the end, I started picking it up and he would point and I would go, wait, wait, I know what it is. Is it that one? And he'd be like, yes. And so that's really cool. It's like, I feel like I'm starting to know things or I'm starting to learn things that I will use in the future. And it is good. Things are good. We then had a lecture on benthic as well, which was good because I got to learn um, why they were all different and what makes them different and how to kind of distinguish them. Um, we're going to be pretty much underwater detectives now because we have to pass a test 95% and try to figure out what coral is what. It takes a lot of detective work for coral stuff because it's crazy how many different types of coral there are so they're all in families um, and they all look completely different and a soft coral one that kind of wafts around might look a lot like a hard coral but it's not because it's hard but it doesn't look like it. I hope you all were looking at all the different corals over there. <laughs> I focused more on corals this time because that's what we were actually doing than the fish in the other video. I'm finding it hard to vlog and I'm finding it hard to put everything together into a video so I hope you're enjoying them. I hope it's not too montage orientated but it's very difficult given this situation to like do things normally so only another five weeks left the one thing that we're really struggling with at the moment is the amount of sand and I know we're at the beach like the beach is literally 20 steps away but having sand on your feet the whole time is one of the most annoying things ever um, I have sand everywhere I have sand in my hair I have sand in my ears I have sand on my feet I have sand in my bed Oh, that's like the worst thing, having sand in your bed. But we're learning to cope with the sand. It's taking a long process. Oh look, we have goats outside our door. We actually had a clean yesterday. Bobby, one of the cleaners, came and just cleaned all the sand away and it was amazing. But already, 24 hours later, the floor is sandy again. But it's okay. We had that one, one day of no sand and it was glorious. The other thing that has been difficult for me um, is the food. Anything's put in front of me, I can eat it. Uh, that, that doesn't bother me. Um, oh, that's so cool. They're playing music on the boat. So I just filmed 
a bunch of stuff um, <laughs> and I had zoomed in on my face um, and I don't really like when that happens because you get like a part of me like full full be blown up and yeah I did what I just said was really good though so I might just put it in so I'll just put it in and then have a random clip just playing for your entertainment while I talk about that so that's something I haven't seen before that was really cool um, it's funny because I was just asking my English buddy about the types of music that they play in Madi in this area in Ann Davidoff um, and apparently they have not a harmonica but the one with the buttons instead of the keyboard and I could hear it from all the way over there I don't know if you could hear it in the clip but that was really cool I can't remember what I was saying now but coral stuff is good I remember food. Food is a problem here, mainly because there is a lot of fish. That's not a problem. I haven't really had lots of fish before, so this is my first time having fish twice a day. Yeah, it's pretty much twice a day. We have had some amazing nights where we've had zebu, which is the humped cow, and that was amazing. And then one night we had this amazing like tempura vegetables, and they are to die for. But apparently, you only get that like twice. But it's funny because everyone has been starting to crave food, so everyone's like, oh, I really want a apple and rhubarb crumble, or I really want a chocolate cake and stuff like that, and it's making me so hungry. But anyway, it's dinner time, and I'm going to go eat some fish. 